This is uh, time for our weekly Throwback Thursday feature. It's the Pit Parade, and today we're going way back to 1957, where you'll see some things never change, especially when it comes to celebrating Independence Day. It's the Pit Parade, the picture story of the Pittsburgh scene from the KDK TV archives. Pittsburgh had its share of patriots the week of July 5th, 1957. There were Independence Day parades in Brentwood, Woods Run, McKee's Rocks, and Soho. But to see true patriots, you had to go downtown. 88 new recruits of the United States Marine Corps were sworn in on the 4th of July. It was a colorful ceremony that sent them off to training camp. The Pittsburgh Patriots, as the group would be known, even had their own mascot. Meanwhile, the 4th of July picnics, parties, and baseball games continued. The Mount Lebanon and Castle Shannon fire departments went hose to hose in a battle of the barrel. And South Park hosted a game of musical horses. It's just like musical chairs, but on horseback. Watch. What a way to hitch a ride. And it was the last ride for the B&O Railroad Station this week. The station at Fort Pitt Boulevard and Smithfield Street was being demolished to make way for the parkway. The new station was at the corner of Fort Pitt and Grant. Grant us a moment more to show you the goings on at Buell Planetarium this week. Buell was hosting a new sky show, especially for children, called the Zoo in the Sky. The host for the trip into space was none other than Daniel Striped Tiger from WQED's Children's Corner. We were seeing stars and stripes the week of July 5th, 1957. Saying cheerio and video, this is Patty Burns for the Pit Parade.